All right, hey everyone. I just wanted to do a quick uh, video on some of the electronics I've been bringing along. Well, I guess all the electronics I've been bringing along. Well, not all, because I sent some home. We'll, we'll get to the ones I sent home after the ones I still have that I've decided are worthy of keeping. Uh, just in case, you know, you're interested in, like, editing video out and about in the woods and stuff like that. You want to know what I brought along. There's a few extra also pieces here, um, just as, like, entertainment value. Uh, but, uh, yeah, here we go. This is what I'm working with. So, all right, this is kind of everything broken down in little packages. There is still some stuff in here. We'll get to that. Uh, but this is uh, for Wayfinder, right? This is kind of her music here, headphones. This is for her actual phone because we didn't bring Bluetooth headphones, and so we're just using an adapter. Um, so that's pretty basic there. Then my headphones as well. Uh, I just like cheap little, because I break a lot, uh, $5 like headphones from Walmart. I don't even know if they're $5, uh, but that's kind of just like entertainment value. The rest of, oh, and charger for the iPod. And then the rest of this is what I'm actually working with uh, to make the videos. So this right here is a 5,000 milliamp battery. Uh, it is also a heat source. So you can kind of turn it on here and it's got like a 45, 50 and a 55 degree Celsius heat setting. Uh, and it can also charge your phone. So. That's mostly we use it uh, for heating emergencies for injuries, but it is also a backup uh, charger if I start to run low on the main battery bank. Uh, this main battery bank is a 20,000 milliamp Xiaomi. Um, I bought it because usually I would have gone with probably like an anchor, but I got the Xiaomi because uh, some research I did said it charged faster than other devices. I haven't actually though noticed any actual charging faster time and i mean like the ba the battery itself charging faster not that it charges your phone faster but it's still it's uh that research ended up being an error but it's been serving me well um it's got you know the charging port here uh, apparently it's only for charging it's according to the manual you shouldn't use it to charge your phones but then it's got double charging which can do pass through uh so what it actually allows me to do is charge this and then i can also charge both of our phones at once i can get about five and a half uh, charges of a phone off of this battery. So basically anytime we stop in for like a resupply or like today we were, um, getting water at a, at a bathroom and that bathroom also had a power outlet. I was able to just, uh, get, uh, recharge it up there. But a lot of times like we'll go into a Walmart and I'll sit outside at the Walmart and I'll get my whole setup going and then wait for her to go and do her shopping. And then she'll come out and we'll switch and she'll watch this while it charges. It doesn't get it all the way back to full, but it extends the life for a while. And then basically when this runs out and we start dipping into the, this other one, or we, if we ha like when this one gets to like 25%, we'll start actually looking for a place like, Hey, we're going to take a Nero or a zero. So we're not going to do any miles. I'm going to stop somewhere that actually has power and we can, we can get a full charge again. That way we can start, you know, prolonging the inevitable. Um, so I charge it with this uh, cable here and then it comes out of, I keep some cables in this like case here just so that this isn't poking holes in the bag I carry it in. So that comes out of here. Uh, and then from there, uh, two, cable, two uh, USB to micro USB cables to go from uh, each of these ports to our phones. Um, and then from there, I also have the other USB on this charging block um, and that can charge anything extra at the time. So maybe like the iPod needs charging, we'll charge that. Maybe Wayfinder's phone needs charging. Sorry, not her phone, uh, her watch needs charging. So we'll charge that. Um, I got the charger for that right here. Um, and then also in here, I've got just a few spare, like one spare cord, uh, micro USB to micro USB cord. And then I've got a bunch of um, SD cards. Uh, basically, I use these so that once I do a YouTube video um, and export it, I take the main video off my phone, which I'm using now, obviously, and then I transfer that to with this adapter. Uh, I transfer from my phone to the SD card. That way it frees up the space there. And then I usually de delete all the excess clips. As far as programming I'm using, uh, I have the Adobe kind of like package. Um, I'm still using my student email on that, so... Ha <laughs> ha yay, go me. Um, uh, so I'm using the Adobe Rush, um, which is basically their compact version of Premiere. It's okay. Um, I don't know if there's better versions out there that are, have like the in-app purchases, but it, it, it gets the job done. And then as far as like the thumbnail creating, I usually just go into like the images app 
uh, pull up the video, find a spot that I want to, uh, a clip that I want to use, screenshot it, and then just type in the miles. Uh, I know a lot of people do like by days. Um, I don't really, I don't know. I, I get it. I get why you might do it by days. I just, I just find miles like a better marker. So as far as the electronics I have sent home, uh, I originally brought out an additional 10,000 milliamp battery that we were using to charge uh, the smaller electronics, things that weren't the phones, um, but it just was kind of excessive. So I set that home, didn't need to wait. I uh, also had a GoPro that I was using for like more big shots. Uh, sent that home too because now I've just kind of like reduced it down to taking like pro mode shots on the phone if I want to like take a nice, a better uh, image. And that's been, I think, working out okay. It's just like having like the extra, the excess uh, options. I mean, if I had a like more planned out like shorter trip, I think they would be really good. But like for a through hike, I think it's not a medium you want. I think, I just think just the one capture medium and, uh, is all you need. So like for me, it's the phone. Um, but if you were like, maybe like going to do all your editing when you got back, then maybe a GoPro would be better, but also the GoPro battery doesn't just bug. Uh, GoPro battery doesn't last as long. Um, so I think the phone is better. I, th I think it's been adequate. It's been just fine. Uh, I also sent back like a selfie stick cause I thought I might need to take like some wider shots. And I sent back a try a lightweight tripod, uh, basically I'm just like, if I need a tripod, uh, I'm going to find a nice convenient rock or my backpack. That's, this is kind of how that's going. Or Wayfinder will hold my phone. So like, you know, I have a, I have a handy, uh, extra set of hands there. Uh, I mean, your mileage may vary if I'm mean, tripod, the tripod was like the most like thing, the thing I was like the sketchiest on sending back, but I, I ended up deciding not to need it. Anyway, I'm kind of releasing this also just like as a buffer video, um, we're getting to some parts where I'm not sure as we get further north, I'm not sure if like I'll be able to upload as often. Um, and like, there's always, there's still like a kind of tight, uh, timeline right now. And I want to be able to like, you know, get videos out to everybody, you know, at a decent consistency. Uh, so I'm kind of like pushing back the delay I normally have. So this is kind of like one of those things that's just like taking the place of that. Um, so like, I mean, that's kind of like another thing with like editing video, right? You want to leave yourself enough delay to where you can kind of like consistently put out video. I, I know some people that are like really big on it. They put out videos like every day. They put out like daily videos and I actually find that a little excessive. Like you don't need to see me every day and you're just going to binge this on the weekends anyway. So like, what's it matter? Uh, but so uh, I'm just kind of like increasing the delay to a little bit longer just to kind of give me some... Some time the videos will probably still say the same length but yeah so hopefully uh not interrupting your regular scheduled awesome rooster wayfinder content um if there is a delay don't worry it's not like i've forgotten anything it's just it's gonna get it's gonna get more and more difficult the closer we get to me have fun